Welcome back everyone. This is Mental Mondays with Mr. Sean. Um, I'd just like to take a moment and just give a couple basic things about anxiety. Um, by definition, anxiety is really just worry or uneasiness about a future event, uh, a typical conversation that you may be worried about having with someone, or it's actually a real event, uh, like taking a test. Uh, anxiety gives us worry about uh, things that are uncertain in our life. Uh, usually future events. Um, some symptoms that you may feel is restlessness, um, uneasiness, uh, lack of hope, uh, and, and even it can affect our sleep. One, you don't like talking to people face to face. You can easily keep a conversation going for hours when you're texting or chatting online with a friend, but talking to someone in person, no, that's an entirely different story. Even if you already know them well or have talked to them online, you still get tense and nervous talking to them in person. You have trouble making eye contact or finding the words to respond, and you want to end face-to-face -face conversations as soon as they begin. Two, you're always self-conscious. Do you walk into a room and immediately feel like everyone is staring at you, listening to you, and judging your every move? Or perhaps you're overly conscious of the way you walk, the way you eat, the way you sit, the sound of your voice when you talk, and so on? This could be a sign that you have hidden anxiety. Three, you're easily upset or irritated. Has anyone ever told you you're too sensitive? Do you find your feelings getting hurt easily? Are you quick to get angry or upset with others over the littlest things? This kind of emotional volatility may be a sign that you have high functioning anxiety, as anxiety can often make us easily overwhelmed and emotionally imbalanced. Frequent mood swings, temper tantrums, and irritability can be expected when you're overly anxious. Four, you're panicky and easily startled. Anxiety makes you wanna be as in control and vigilant as possible. An unexpected phone call, a random knock on the door, an email with no subject, or a forgotten task you can easily finish. Anything is enough to send you reeling with panic. You go into a tailspin whenever something catches you off guard and you find it hard to relax even when the smallest things don't go exactly as planned. Five, you're indecisive. Do you have trouble making even the simplest of choices? Are you afraid of making up your mind about something because you're so sure that whatever decision you make is gonna be the wrong one? Oftentimes, anxiety can manifest as perfectionist tendencies, fear of failure, or distrust in oneself. If you can't make your own choices without thinking about it for hours and hours first, or consulting with all your friends and family, you might be harboring some hidden anxiety. Um. I, I bring this up to say that if you're a student feeling any of these type of symptoms or you have any type of worries about uh, future things, um, I'm here to help. Um, I'm in room A500A. Um, we can take some time to discuss if you're feeling any of these things or if you just have an uneasiness about future things, um, especially with COVID. Um, a lot of people, a lot of students feel uneasy about what, what is to happen. Um, that is the purpose of me being here. I'm here to support you, and uh, hopefully I can help you uh, find some uh, relief for anything that you're feeling uneasy about. Thank you.